In 2015, in a small town in Ohio, lived a woman named Emily Johnson. At 32, she had what many would call a picture-perfect life, a lovely home, a stable job as a nurse, and a beautiful six-year-old daughter named Lily. But behind closed doors, Emily's life was far from perfect. Her husband, Mark, a man she once loved deeply, had become a source of fear and pain. Emily had met Mark in college. He was charming, funny, and seemed to have a bright future ahead of him. They married quickly, driven by the whirlwind of young love. In the beginning, Mark was everything she had ever wanted in a partner. But soon after Lily was born, things began to change. Mark's temper flared over the smallest things. He would yell, throw things, and make Emily feel worthless. At first, Emily believed it was just, just the stress of being new parents. She forgave him, hoping it was a phase that would pass. She prayed for patience and strength, convinced that with enough love and faith, Mark would return to the man she fell in love with. Years passed, and Emily continued to endure Mark's outbursts. He never hit her, but the verbal abuse and emotional manipulation were constant. She often found herself in tears, praying late into the night, asking God to help Mark see the pain he was causing. She believed in the sanctity of marriage and held on to the hope that her prayers would be answered. One evening, after a particularly bad argument, Mark stormed out of the house, leaving Emily and Lily alone. Lily, sensing her mother's distress, came over and hugged her tightly. It's okay, mommy, she whispered, her innocent eyes full of concern. Emily's heart broke. She realized that Lily was growing up in an environment of fear and instability. But still, she forgave Mark, clinging to the belief that he would change. The pivotal moment came one hot summer day. Emily was in the kitchen, preparing dinner, when she heard Lily's terrified scream from the living room. She rushed in to find Mark towering over their daughter, his face twisted with rage. Lily had accidentally spilled her juice on the new carpet. Mark grabbed her arm so hard that she winced in pain. How many times have I told you to be careful? He roared. Lily's eyes filled with tears and she cried out, I'm sorry, daddy. I'm sorry. Emily's blood ran cold. In that moment, she saw her own fear reflected in her daughter's eyes. She realized that this was not the life she wanted for Lily. She couldn't let her daughter grow up thinking that this was normal, that this was love. Emily knew she had to leave, for Lily's sake and for her own. That night, after Mark had fallen asleep, Emily knelt beside her bed and prayed. She prayed for the strength to leave, for the courage to protect her daughter, and for the guidance to start a new life. The decision was heart-wrenching, but Emily knew it was the right one. She packed a few essentials and, with Lily in tow, drove to a friend's house. The next few weeks were a blur of legal proceedings and emotional turmoil. Emily filed for divorce and sought a restraining order against Mark. She knew it would be a long, difficult road, but she felt a sense of peace she hadn't known in years. With the help of friends, family, and her church, Emily and Lily moved to California, seeking a fresh start far from the shadows of their past. In California, Emily found a supportive community and started rebuilding her life. She enrolled Lily in a new school and found a job at a local hospital. The first few months were challenging, but Emily's faith never wavered. She continued to pray for Mark, hoping he would find the help he needed to change. But she no longer prayed for reconciliation. She prayed for healing and strength for herself and Lily. Emily's story is one of resilience and faith. She learned that forgiveness doesn't mean staying in a harmful situation and that sometimes the bravest thing you can do is to walk away. She found solace in her faith and through it, she found the courage to protect her daughter and reclaim her life. Today, Emily and Lily are thriving, surrounded by love and support, and Emily remains a testament to the power of prayer and the strength of a mother's love.